Hi, this is Larry Tab, founder and CEO of Tab Group, and I'm here with Stuart Plain from Cadis. Cadis is a data ma management company, and you know we're here today to talk about data management. So I guess the first question, Stuart, um, is, um, you know, data management has been an issue within the financial markets for a long time. Yep. There are a couple of pretty established players. Cadis is fairly new. Mm -hmm. How do you differentiate differentiate yourself from some of the other players in the marketplace? The first differentiator is that we have an absolute focus within our firm of empowering the people who understand the data to manage the data. And that, that ethos and philosophy really permeates throughout our entire firm, the way we've developed our software, our documentation, best practices, etc. So really, that is really it's all about getting data management into the front line to understand how, how data has been moved throughout the, the enterprise. Um, the second uh, key differentiator is the fact that we, most of our clients are live in time periods that are, are, are significantly different from the traditional vendors in the space. So we often actually get clients live in, in, in under three months with, uh, with some pretty significant security master, price master, a pretty chunky uh, data management That's challenges. That's huge. Yeah. That's huge. huge. Um, one of the big things we talked about a little earlier was that, that you know, in traditional data management solutions, um, you wind up trying to normalize all the data and basically get a single view of the data. Mm. Uh, but in many instances, that really doesn't work. Can you kind of explain that and how you view, you know, aligning sources with, with data? Absolutely. Well, one of the, the key um, founding principles of our business is the fact that all data is source and destination dependent, not independent. So really what that means is that um, all destination systems ha have very specific nuances and requirements on the data, and there isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. So, so um, accepting that and understanding that and providing a, a holistic view of how uh, your data has been sourced and distributed is, is often one of the most important challenges and the real solution to, to really providing data to your fund managers, compliance officers, regulators, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So in reality, you know, so I can't look at, you know, a piece of Thomson Reuters data and Bloomberg data and IDC data and Telcor's data as, as the same. I really need to keep them to a certain extent separate, huh? Correct. That's exactly right. And, and not yeah. only within the traditional data management, uh, so the, the data providers, you also have a whole range of external providers as well, or internal providers for pricing sources, et cetera, et cetera. So, so there really is a, is a whole range of data being provided to the organization and trying to shoehorn that all that data into into one size and shape is is, is you, you lose a lot of the um, the meaning of that underlying data and and often your destination users of that data really do want to understand what the differences are between all their different sources understand you know what all the different sources uh, view of the world is interesting interesting one of the other challenges that historically has happened with a lot of the data management firms uh, is that the you know these projects you know are multi million dollars they take you know years to implement. Mm. Um, you know, is that kind of your philosophy, or, or how does that uh, have to fit in with Cadis? I think the last couple of years has taught us that um, uh, ROI, return on investment, needs to be tangible and in well under a year. So, so our philosophy from from day one has always been to really deliver data to to the end users as quickly as physically possible. So we, you know, as I said earlier, one of our key differentiators is getting these these really complex projects up and running and live in under three months, and we really do stick by that. And that's you know. If you can't prove ROI in under a year um, and get the system up and live in, in very short time frames, I think you're going to have a tough sell. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. The last question I want to talk to you about is, is when we were talking in the room the other, you know, a little while ago, um, you said you kind of have a social media strategy in terms of also documentation mm -hmm. and bug fix strategy mm -hmm. uh, that was actually kind of unique. Why don't you talk a couple of seconds about so, that? Yeah, sure. Uh, we, a couple of years back, we realized that um, a lot of the intellectual property around uh, best practices, data governance, um, a, a lot of those those, um, those key elements to a successful data management strategy were, were um, we had a lot of information on all those those key elements that uh, all of our clients wanted to know, but it often it was very disparate. Uh, if, you know, some of was embedded in some of the clients, some embedded in some of our consultants, our developers, etc., etc. So we went to a strategy of, of putting all of our documentation, all of our intellectual property of our firm onto a wiki, hmm. uh, which is the same Wikimedia software that Wikipedia used, and uh, we, we have collected all that information in one place. So if you want to use a guide, a strategy on data governance, a best practice on how to manage your Bloomberg data, Reuters data, all that is in one place. And not only do our own internal uh, team uh, contribute to that, 
uh, clients contribute to it as well, third parties contribute, mm -hmm. and that really has been a significant that that openness, um, you know, really showing the clients. So you know, getting what, all the documentation online and open and accessible to, yeah. to prospects and clients, mm -hmm. and and up to date, which hmm. is the key thing. You know, and it's That's not cool. just our, our view of the world anymore. It's also our clients' view of that functionality, that strategy, which is so crucial. So you know, you create a community that's that's all learning from each other, and the benefits are significant. We've seen a significant benefit to that strategy. And the other interesting thing we were talking about is that, that you're putting all your bug fixes online for everybody yeah. to see too. Yeah. You know, yeah. all the yeah. that that's the stuff that people want to hide from everyone. Yeah. So so what we found is the more open we are with our clients and prospects, is there's really the um, there's nothing to hide. You know, the the software does what it does, and you know, it's it, the, the real key is really that that openness because you know data management is all about visibility. And as a vendor, if we don't have that philosophy at our core, we have challenges. So so we really do try and practice what we preach so, to so the best of our own dog food, huh? It's something like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank Stuart Plain from Cadis uh, for taking a couple of minutes to be here on Tab Forum. I'm Larry Tab, founder and CEO of Tab Group. Thanks for joining us at Tab Forum. Great. Thank you.